So, Capricorns, it's time for you, darling. Ooh. Capricorns are being asked to, like, open up to what you're looking at right now. Like, ask yourself, what are you paying attention to? What are you focusing on? Are you focusing on what you've lost? Because if you're focusing on what you've lost, it is so difficult to connect to who you are and to stand up for it. While this person is, like, standing super straight, aligned, right? Like, the body language here is very similar. But this is confident that the loss is the thing to be focused in on, honed in on. And that's just not the case here. What you, I mean, like, if you flipped this being, what they would be focusing on is their two, you know, their two cups that are still upright. The things that they still have, what they have to be grateful for, what they have not yet lost, what resources they still have. So Capricorns are being asked to not get like waylaid in the things that have not worked out for you. Recognize that you putting your head down is very important, but the w direction you put your head down in matters more. Okay? So you are being asked to redirect what you are focusing on. Open yourself up to the challenges that you're experiencing and the things that you consider losses to being something that's going to give you valuable data about the truth of who you are. So you can retool, realign, and make sure that you're still standing up for all the things that you genuinely V value. You know, Uranus in Taurus, like it's doing a whole thing. It's retrograding right now. I think it'll travel back into Aries for like a brief second and then come back into Taurus and be there until 2026. And that is asking us to like break through our comfort zones, okay? And so right now, I think it is easy for Capricorn to be downtrodden and to see, you know, how much work is left to be done and, you know, maybe choices that we've made that have put us behind and, you know, lost time, lost resources, lost money, lost relationships, all of that. And there's a tendency to get wrapped up in that emotional experience while at the same time trying to remain like hard edged and hard lined and staying true to your goals, which is something that consistently drives Capricorn forward when they really do need to hold space for their emotional depth and, and, and recognize, hey, that's here. And if I don't manage my emotions properly, like I'll just put that same kind of determination and headstrong nature in the wrong direction. And that's what the Five of Cups shows up to, to illustrate to us, is that if we are focused down in on the wrong stuff, even, you know, head down determination is not going to lead us to something that we genuinely want or that we find really fulfilling. We've got to be looking at the ways in which our cups are filled in the way that so that we can study how to fill them up even more substantially.